what's the most effective volunteering you can do? And where is your most effective dollars that you give to charity if you give any? What if it's not volunteering at a soup kitchen or at a nursing home or volunteering for some disaster? What if your most effective charity dollars wasn't given to buy malaria bed nets, which are which are uh, very helpful, save lives? What if it's not given to Habitat for Humanity? What if it's not invested in Kiva? What if it's not going to you know help with the children at the border? What if, I wanna give you this controversial idea, what if your most effective volunteer hours is to create your content? And what if your most effective charity dollars, charity, give money for, for helping other people, what if your most effective charity dollars were to buy Facebook ads to spread your content to just the people who need it? Now, nobody can say, absolutely with scientific proof whether what i'm saying is true or not but i want to i want you to reflect on the power and the calling that there is behind the work that you put out into the world that's really my my main point here do you believe that your work can change people's lives i hope you'll say yes otherwise why are you even creating a business from it? If it's just going to make money, that's not an authentic business. But if you believe that your work changes lives, if you believe that it actually can change minds and can change hearts, which ripples out into changing the people around them and therefore changing the world, if you believe that, then commit yourself fully to doing this work. And the simplest way for you to change people's lives is through content. Because changing people's minds and changing their hearts changes their actions, right? And changing their, their minds and their hearts and their actions creates impact for the people that they live with and that they work with, that they are friends with that they see on the streets. It impacts their actions, which creates ripple effect that creates more of a difference in the world than you can ever imagine. So you have to come to this realization that your work is that important. Your work for you, your work may be more important than volunteering for the most effective charity in the entire world. Now, their work is important, of course. Of course, their work, the, chair, the work of a charity is important. They're saving lives. They're building houses. They're preventing disease. They are you know, uh, preventing violence, creating more peace. Yes, charities' works are important. But the fact that you have had a unique blend of challenges in your life and you've, re and you've solved those challenges means that you have a unique contribution in the world that no one else can give. And so what if your calling is to make sure that your unique service is put out into the world, your unique blend of solutions that you've come up with to solve the challenges that you've come through and maybe you've helped clients or you've helped friends solve certain things. What if that work is so important that that's why you're still alive. You're still alive to give that work into the world in your way. And because you have a unique blend of your voice, your message, your ideas, your style, your personality, that unique blend, nobody else in history has. And so there are some people in the world right now who will resonate more with the way you are and the way that you share your gifts, they will resonate more with you than with anybody else in history. It's true. So your work is so important that it may be the most effective way for you to volunteer, not at your local soup kitchen, 
not at your local homeless shelter, not at cleaning up a local disaster. Those things are important too. But what of your most effective volunteer hours when you have the energy, when you have your best energy, is for you to get your content out there to, to help just the thousands of people who need exactly your help. Because it'll change their minds, it'll change their hearts, and that ripples out into changing the world. I believe that. I believe that. And so if your most effective volunteer hours are to create your content and getting it out there in the world, then your most effective charity dollars are not to Kiva or to Habitat for Humanity or to Malaria Bed Nets, Malaria Foundation, but your most effective charity dollars are to buy ads. I know it sounds ridiculous, but stay with me here. Your most effective charity dollars, the, the thing that you would give as a tithe, not to your church, or to, but to getting your message out to just the people who need it. Consider that. Now, I don't know. Again, I can't scientifically prove that to be true. Who can measure? Yes, you can measure lives saved by the malaria bed nets, which are important. You can measure houses built with Habitat for Humanity and how that might ripple out into the community being healthier. Those are all important. But how can you measure the lives that are changed with your content, with the minds that are changed and the hearts that are, that are healed? with your content, how can you measure the ripple effect of that? You can't, and it's probably greater than we can imagine. So I just want you to consider putting some of your charity dollars toward Facebook ads to promote your content, not to sell anything, okay? Most of my, I spend almost $1,000 a month, a month, every single month on Facebook ads because I consider that to be charity dollars because I believe my content is that helpful to people like you who are actually, it's changing, it's changing your minds and changing your hearts about your business, which creates a greater ripple effect in the world. I think I'm making a big, big impact. Maybe I have a big ego about that. And that's possibly true. But I do think that, I don't know if I spend a thousand dollars a month with chair, with malaria bed nets. Yes, it does save lives for sure. They can calculate how many lives it saves, but I don't know if, if that money is better spent changing your mind and changing your heart and that changes your business, which saves, it may even save even more lives. I don't know. I don't know. And maybe it's saving lives, just physical saving lives isn't the most valuable thing in the world. Maybe changing our, our thoughts and our vibration and somehow that creates a more ripple effect than we can even imagine. I don't know. But what I do know is that your work is so important that it deserves to be out there in the world. That's what I know. And that's what I hope you believe as well. So spend your time, your volunteer time, creating content that will change lives and spend your volunteer dollars, your charity dollars in using whether it's Facebook ads or Google ads or whatever ads you wanna buy to amplify your content in the world. Does that make, doesn't that make sense? I hope you, you, you'll comment below and let me know if I'm crazy, if I'm being egotistical, I probably am, I don't know. Or, or if, if there's some logic here, and if it makes sense that you're, you're, the fact that you're still alive means that you have, you have some unique work to bring into the world. And it's not just you making money in some other way and giving money to some charity, which you don't really even know sometimes where the charity dollars go. Yes, they have reports. 80% of our money goes into our programs. 20% goes into administration, whatever it may be. But I still have this belief that your charity dollars might go better into promoting your content because your ripple effect, I mean, your unique country, that is more unique of a contribution than you can make and possibly a more impactful contribution than you can make than just giving your money to some charity. So let me know what you think about this. Um, I may be crazy and I know I am in some ways, but I do think that it is making a bigger impact in, 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 in some ways. And yes, I still give to these various charities that I mentioned, but I do think that your, your charity dollars spent on Facebook ads, yes, the behemoth of Facebook, horrible Facebook corporation, but what they're doing is very efficient. What, what Facebook ads does is ex the most efficient thing possible to get your content to the people who need it. So you are actually helping a lot of people 
by by spending money with the behemoth monster horrible corporation that is Facebook because they're using the money very efficiently to get your life healing life changing content to the people who need it okay capitalism to help people tell me what you think about that so i look forward to your comments this is this is all i want to say today and let me take a look to see if there are any any uh comments on how horrible i am to be saying to give charity money to facebook let me take a look here um <laughs> and to google uh so thank you april for your comment i do see just one person brave enough <laughs> to to comment on this crazy video uh but thank you april for your i appreciate your and uh, for those who are supporting this video as well antonio and kim and ingrid and michelle i appreciate you and i i i just i want to believe in you i want to just come back and 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 put the faith that your work may be more important than kiva.org may be more important than habitat for humanity may be more important than malaria foundation okay may be more important than anything that effective altruism says is the true way of giving money to charity is the most effective scientifically measurable way well i i want to i want to challenge that and say there is something about calling and about your uniqueness in the world the fact that you're still alive that you need to get your work out into the world and the ripple effects that it can make is more than any scientific effective altruism can measure so that's what i want to say so thank you antonio also for your comment there and uh until the next video boldly go and put your work out there because it saves lives more than you can imagine i wish you well